So then guys, today I'm taking you inside what it's actually like to use the Creality K2 Pro and its CFS system in real print. We're talking about the heated chamber, the multi-filament switching, Creality software and the all-important filament drying setup and how all these parts work together to deliver consistent, reliable results. Let's get straight into it then. One of the big standout features of the K2 Pro is its active heated chamber. It keeps the internal temperatures steady, up to around 60 degrees Celsius, and that makes a huge difference with large or detailed prints. When I printed a detailed Hogwarts castles, the results were really great, as it shows here. The tall walls, the spires came up perfectly straight with no corner lift, no cracking and great adhesion all the way up. If I tried that on say an open printer, those strong walls would have curled in no time. The heated chamber helps prevent temperatures fluctuations that cause warping, while the core XY motion sensor keeps everything rigid and accurate. The result is a cleaner surface finish and better details overall. Then there's the CFS, or the Creality Filament System, this box right here. This is what lets you load multiple spools and automatically switch between them midpoint. No pausing, no manual swaps, the printer just handles it for you. When I printed my green and purple frogs, the system swapped between colors mid-layer and then the results were so clean. The transition line between green and purple was sharp. No bleeding, no smudging, no weird purge marks whatsoever. That's the CFS doing its thing, retracting one filament, purging cleanly, and feeding the next with perfect timing. And because the spools stay enclosed, the filament stays clean and dry throughout the print. Now, let's talk about material consistency. For this, my purple Genga print you can see right here tells the story perfectly. It's a multi-color print, but it's one of those models where every large layer counts. The surface is curved, shiny, and unforgiving if your extrusion wobbles, and it came out beautifully smooth. Just look at the pointy bits here on his back. They came out perfectly. That tells me the feed path, motion system, and temperature control are all rock solid here. When you get layer lines that are so clean, you know the print is tuned properly and the chamber's doing its job keeping conditions stable. PLA performs best on this setup, which is what I use to print all my prints today. But the K2 Pro also supports materials like PETG, ABS, ASA and carbon filled PLA if you want to experiment with that later. You can also use things like flexible filaments like TPU can be trickier in multi spool setups like this but at the end of the day, you can still do this on the K2 Pro. Of course, the software side of this setup is what ties everything together. Creality Print is their slicer, and it makes to work seamlessly with the K2 Pro and the CFS. You can easily assign different colors or materials, and the slicer automatically handles purge and switching settings. Like in the old days when you had to tinker endlessly to get it right, the Creality cloud app, the mobile app, you can just literally select the files that you want and just print straight away. You can monitor its progress, check temperatures, and even pause print straight from my phone if I wanted to do that. When I was running the frog print, for example, I kept an eye on it through the app. I could see exactly when it switched color and how long it had left. It's simple, reliable, and genuinely useful when you're not standing around next to your printer. Now, one accessory I can't skip over is also the Creality's Space Pi X4 filament dryer. It might not sound exciting, but trust me, you really need this for a 3D printer. It's a lifesaver. 
Even PLA absorbs moisture over time and that causes all kinds of print issues from bubbling to stringing to weak adhesion. And that is why a dryer is a brilliant device to get your hands on. I always dry my spools in the SpacePi X4 before loading them into the CFS. And it holds up to four spools at one time, maintaining consistent heat and airflow and keeping everything dry and ready to go. It's quiet, efficient, and makes a huge difference in the print quality, like the models that I've got right here. Honestly, if you're investing in the K2 Pro, pairing it up with the X4 dryer just completes the setup. Everything here just works as one ecosystem. The K2 Pro's core XY precision, the heated chamber, stabilization prints, the CFS takes care of the filament switching, and then Creality Print handles the slicing logic, the Cloud app lets you connect it, and then the SpacePi X4 keeps your filament in perfect condition. You can see the results right here on the print plate, smooth surfaces, clean color transitions, and excellent reliability across the board. So yeah, the K2 Pro has been one of the most seamless Creality experiences I've used so far. It's fast, it's capable, and generally it delivers on the promise of multi-color, multi-material printing without the usual headaches. And if you're into 3D printing and want a setup that feels refined, this one's hard to beat. So on that note, if you want to check out the K2 Pro, the CFS or the X4 that we've talked about today, make sure you check out all the details that are in the description of this video. Because like I said, this is a great printer setup. And on that note as well, guys, what are your thoughts on 3D printers? Do you have one? Are you planning to get one? Well, let me know in the comments below. And on that note as well, guys, it's time to wrap up the video too. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please also do press the like button. And as always, if you want to hear the latest technology news, reviews, and comparisons, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.